Are you ready? It's sing-along time. He carried his cross on the dirty ground. He carried his cross down the streets of town. He carried his cross through an angry crowd. He did it for you and I. They took his hands and spread them out. They took his hands and held him down. They took his hands and with a pound, 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 they got ready to crucify him. Jesus is alive. Set us free. They put him down with a crown of thorns. They put him down, saying, Here's the Lord. They put him down, his body torn, Lamb of God, and Prince of Peace. But Jesus is alive, he is alive. Jesus is alive, he is alive. My name is Duan, and my friend Anle and I are so happy to see you. Do you remember what the big idea is? The big idea is we can praise God. So Anle and I were thinking about all the things that we can praise God for that he created, and we decided to make them out of Play-Doh. Do you want to see? Anle, look at all the wonderful things that we made. What was this? We made a star. We made a star. And what about this one? We made a moon. Ah! And God created the moon to light the night. Okay. And what about this? We made a cat. It's so cute. Aww. And what did you make? Uh, I made two snails. Wow. This is so wonderful. All the amazing things that God created and we can thank him for. Guess what? You can get Play-Doh and make things that you're thankful to God for as well. And you can thank him for it. He would really love that. Let's go to story time. Story time. 
Hey friends, I'm Dan. Today we're reading another Psalm. Let's get right into it. This Psalm's based on Psalm 104. In the beginning, God made the earth. He made the beautiful bright sun and put it in the sky. He made mountains and made it very high. He created powerful rivers and beautiful plants. Animals from the biggest elephants to the smallest ants. God sent rain so that food can grow. He takes care of us from head to toe. Let's praise God for creating the earth and sing songs to make known his worth. Thank you, God, for making this beautiful display. We love you and praise you. You're our God. Hooray! Well, we're headed to activity time. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Activity time! Hi, Hi friends! God created so many amazing things. It would be impossible to name them all. No, we won't be able to. But to help us celebrate some of the amazing things he created, we're gonna play a reveal game where we're gonna see how fast we can list one reason why you wanna praise God for that specific thing. Good idea. As you can see, there's a bunch of cups in front of us and there's something under each cup. So me and Michaela are gonna reveal what's under the cup and the other person is gonna, as fast as they can, shout out why we praise God for that thing. That sounds like so much fun. Are you gonna help us, friends? Xavier, you can choose a cup first. I'm thankful for a rock because it helps us build homes. All right, you can take the next one. Oh, starfish. I'm thankful for starfish because God created an animal that looks just like the stars in the sky. That's so cool. Uh... I'm thankful for frogs because they get rid of all the pesky flies. Yeah, they do. Oh, a flower. I praise God for flowers because they smell nice and you can give them to someone as a gift. They're so pretty. Hmm. I'll pick this one. I'm thankful for food because we can make yummy things like cupcakes. Yeah. I'm thankful for fish because I think it's so cool how God created them that they can breathe underwater. I'll pick this one. I'm thankful for apples because they're so delicious and they make me healthy. Yeah. I'm gonna choose this one. Oh, a pig. I praise God for pigs because they're really cute and I love the story, Three Little Pigs. I'll pick this one. Oh, I'm thankful for plants because not only are they beautiful, they give us oxygen. Last cup, Jesus. I'm thankful for Jesus because God sent Jesus to earth to show how much he loves us. That was so much fun. Thanks for playing with us. Yeah. All right, guys, let's head over to Kiever's time. Bye. Bye, friends. Kiever's. Are you ready to learn the key verse with me? Okay, it goes like this. We will praise your name forever. Psalm 44, verse eight. Okay, guess what? I asked my friend, Anle, to come and help us learn the key verse. I wonder where she is. Anle! Hi! Ah, hello! I'm so happy that you're here with me today. Are you willing to help me teach our friends the key verse? I would love to, Duan. Oh, thank you so much! Okay, let's tell them the verse again together, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. We will, will praise your name forever. forever. Psalm 44, verse eight. That was great. Okay, what should we do for we? We. We, I like that. We, we. Um, will, will praise. praise. What should we do for your name? Maybe we should point up to God. Yes, your name. name. And we'll do forever. We'll cross our hands on our chest and go forever. Ever. Psalm 44, verse eight. Okay, let's do that one more time, okay? All right. We will praise your name forever. Psalm 44, verse eight. That was 
was great. Okay, can we do it one more time? Yes. Okay. We, we will praise your name forever. Psalm 44, verse eight. You guys did such a great job. And so did you. Oh, that was awesome. I hope you guys can teach someone that this week. Let's go to prayer time. Prayer time. It's almost time to say goodbye. But before we do, may I pray with you? How about today? We do open them, shut them. Do you remember how to do it? Follow me. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give them a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Fold them in your lap. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for your creation. We praise you for loving us and helping us to take care of your creation. Please help us to love well and do the best with everything that you've given us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I enjoyed spending time with you today. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye.